Welcome to a stripped-down new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. So for those of you who may not be aware of this, since 2009, I've been doing a webcomic parodying the story of nearly every single Persona game called Persona for the Win. And today, after over eight years, I'm officially ending the series at the end of the Dancing All Night arc. And I wanted to pick a fitting demon to celebrate this personal occasion for me. So today, we're talking about Ame no Uzume. Ame no Uzume is the goddess of the dawn in Japanese mythology and is most famous for using her dancing skills to help bring light back to the world. See, after Suzunoo, god of storms and son of Izanagi, decided to be a total jerk, as he's prone to doing, to his sister, the sun goddess Amaterasu, she shut herself inside of a cave, leaving the world without sunlight. Ame no Uzume set up a plan to lure Amaterasu out by overturning her wash bucket, standing on top of it, and doing a strip tease for the gods, causing them to erupt with laughter. Which I get, I usually let out a nervous chuckle or two in front of naked people. Curiosity got the better of Amaterasu, and she peeked out of the cave to see what all the fuss was about, where the god Tajikaro moved a boulder to prevent her from going back in. Since Ame no Uzume essentially helped restore sunlight to the world through her naked dancing, she's often seen as a powerful and positive symbolic figure of sensuality. Ame no Uzume's compendium entry from Persona 5 states that she is the Japanese goddess of entertainment. She governs many sacred dances. She is most famous for luring out Amaterasu, who had barricaded herself inside a cave. Design-wise, Ame no Uzume has had three major depictions throughout the franchise. Her first appearance in the original Shin Megami Tensei had her strongly resembling other major goddess demons, featuring a long white robe with light green accents. The choice of colors here may reflect her original tale, where part of her dancing plan involved a bronze mirror with a jade crystal. You can even see a difference between her artwork and sprite, where the sprite from SMT1 had her with more copper-colored hair, though this was changed in later games. Her more modern design that most people know from seeing it in Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne has her wearing a fairly revealing kimono in reference to her tail, and like other Japanese goddess demons at the time, like Kushinada and Kikurihime, has a recurring design element related to her origins. In the case of Ame no Uzume, fans, which are incredibly common in traditional Japanese dance. Lastly is her Devil Children, or Demi Kids design, where she was known as Aminaz. Her design is clearly more modeled on that of a cheerleader. This makes sense as Ame no Uzume is also referred to as a goddess of revelry, and given her most famous story, she's pretty used to using her boisterous nature in dances of support. There are still touches of her Japanese background though, as she's dressed up like a traditional Japanese Miko or Shrine Maiden. This is also fitting as Miko traditionally perform a Japanese Kagura dance, which Ame no Uzume is said to have originated. And she's also got a great big heart on her head just to show us how full of love she is. As far as game history is concerned, Ame no Uzume is generally a lower level goddess, and therefore is one of the first that players will encounter. In Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, Ame no Uzume can only be acquired via fusion. And while this is a purely subjective thing, is considered one of the best demons to fuse before attempting to fight the Matador, as she's immune to force attacks and has access to party healing spells. As a slight nod to her original tale, Ame no Uzume is a necessary demon in order to fuse Amaterasu herself. And lastly, if you have her converse with her husband, Sarutahiko, the two will have a special conversation together that ends with him giving players an emerald, a symbol of marriage. Like the past couple of demons I've discussed on this show, Ame no Uzume tasks players with a side quest in Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey, the EX mission, Maribito the Foreign God. This quest has strong tie-ins to the story of Amaterasu, as Ame no Uzume has the player get a mirror from Fujotama, and then use it to reveal Amaterasu's true form. Once again, we'll presumably see this quest stick around in the upcoming Deep Strange Journey. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. In Demikid's light and dark versions, Aminaz is the first demon who joins your group aside from your initial partner. In the Devil Children spin-off game, Messiah Riser, a special S-ranked Aminaz can be unlocked on Jin's rank. Ame no Uzume has had a couple of small roles in the Persona series. In the very first game, her design is reminiscent of her original SMT design, and she even has special animations for her dance moves where she will actually strip down in direct reference to her story. She's also one of the newly added Personas from Persona 4 Golden, appearing as the lowest level member of the Aeon Arcana. Her biggest role in the Persona series, though, comes from Persona 5, where players are tasked by Caroline and Justine to create an Ame no Uzume with the Dodge Psy ability for the Rank 5 Strength Confidant. 
Completing this task will unlock access to the guillotine booster, unlocking more fusion combinations. Creating this Amino Uzume can be accomplished quite easily by fusing a level 27 or higher King Ki with a Sui Ki. Amino Uzume is one of the demons symbolically represented in the concept crossover title Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. You can see her color scheme, iconic fans, and namesake plastered on the Uzume Dance Studio, a recurring location in Shibuya to start chapters and get dance lessons from the character Barry Goodman. The first time we ever saw the studio was in the special Treehouse presentation held at E3 2015. Overall, Ame no Uzume is usually a low-level goddess-type demon that is often a good one to recruit to help players get over some of the earlier game hurdles. She often has healing spells and some decent magic up those cute sleeves of hers. And so there you have it, Ame no Uzume, the sensual, scantily clad seductor spouse of Sarutahiko that saved the sunlight. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I'll see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body. <laughs>